Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We worship the King of Kings. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with your child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, you will not be behind. <laughs> when I tell this person that you will be the head, you will not be the tail. You are like, oh, how am I going to be the head when I am surrounded with different kinds of circumstances? Hallelujah. Being surrounded with different kinds of circumstances is still not going to stop you from being the head. Yes, the circumstances are there to make sure they reduce us from the position of the head to the position of the tail. But the Lord said, no, no matter the circumstances, child of God, you will not be left behind. Hallelujah. In other words, according to his word, the Bible says, thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Thou shalt learn to nation. You shall not borrow. Hallelujah. You sh in other words, you shall be a source of help to others. Not you even seeking for help and not finding help. You will become the helper that will even help nations. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, hear me very well. Your seat is at the front. Your seat is at the front. In other words, you are getting a front seat. I don't know how to put this. A front row seat where you will be recognized. Yes, the circumstances that you are faced with. It is the plans of the enemy to push you back to the back seat so that no one will even know that you exist, so that no one will even know that you are there. But unfortunately for them whom the Lord has lifted up, no one can bring him or her down. Glory of the Father. Glory of the Father. Yes, this can also make your enemy angry when they want to push you to the back seat and you are pushing forward. You are pushing forth. Why? Because God said you will not be behind. You will be above. You will not be beneath. In other words, you will, re you will arrive on time. Your destiny will not be something that, oh, I am late already. No, it is, it is never going to be too late. Listen carefully, child of God. We serve a God that is neither too late, neither too early. The timing of God is perfect. The timing of God is perfect. No matter how the circumstances, His timing is perfect. When you allow God to do it in His own will, you will see that His timing is perfect. And the timing of God always brings out something significant that the world will hear and say, how did it happen? That is the timing of God. Hallelujah. That is the timing of God. You know, the timing of God was when Job recovered everything. People will look at him and say, how did this happen? How did this happen? You know, the timing of God was when Sarah gave birth to Isaac. The world will look at it. How did this happen? God's timing is always a loud testimony. The timing of God, when it happens, it comes with a very big testimony. The circumstances you are in, child of God, it can still not push you to the back seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord, child of God. That front seat, it is your position. The front seat, it is your position. Hear me very well. You will be the head. You will not be the tail. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.